Hello YouTube, RC Experience here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to clean your RC's brushed motor. Now right here I have my 110 scale ECX Torment, which has a 15 turn brush motor in it. And like I said, today I'm going to show you how to clean that motor. Um, you should clean it fairly often because uh, if you get too much dust in your motor, uh, it will end up not working. Basically, that's actually what happened to me in my first motor. Uh, I never cleaned it. I was a newbie to the to the hobby, and I didn't know that you had to clean your RC brushed motors. And so I just kept running it in dirt and sand, and it just got so caked full that it just quit on me. And of course, these aren't very expensive, so I just went down to my local hobby shop and picked up another one. But I really don't want to kill this one as well, so it's just best to do some preventative maintenance on it. And it really doesn't take very long, and it's not expensive at all, so... Now, I have already uh, taken the motor out of the RC, as you can see. And that's just a fairly easy process. Uh, the tools you need is a 1.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench. And this is actually optional, but you can take the wheel off. Uh, it just kind of makes access to these screws that hold the motor in a little bit easier. And so that's what I did. And so that's what I use this right here for. This usually comes with your RC. And you'll also need a sorry, a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, to take it off, just to kind of quickly recap, this little cover here that covers your spur gear and your pinion gear, this just goes right on here. It's going to be hard to see. Hang on. It just goes right here. And you just remove three uh, 1.5 millimeter Allen screws, which I just have right here. And then your motor will be sitting right here like that and you just remove two Phillips head screws right here and your motor will just slide out just like that and so that's the easy part now once you get your motor out of the RC you're gonna wanna grab some more materials so you're gonna, you're going to need a plastic container of some sort you're gonna need some motor cleaner now they actually have hobby grade like name brand motor cleaner specifically for RC brush motors uh, but my local hobby shop is an hour away and I didn't really want to drive all the way down there to get those and so I just went to my local Home Depot and picked up this CRC Electra Clean heavy duty electrical parts degreaser and this does the job just just as well and you will also need some household 3-in-1 oil let me just get some of this stuff out of the way. Bring the motor back. Now, once you have the motor out of the RC, it's pretty basic. You're just going to open up your motor cleaner. And you're just going to hold it up here by the wires just like this over your container in this case a Tupperware and you're just going to spray this stuff in there and as you can see there's a lot of dirt and stuff coming out of there just spray it in these holes and just get it really nice and clean now this stuff right here isn't going to harm your motor uh, it evaporates rapidly and like I said, it's not going to hurt anything. So, you know, just go crazy with it. Spray it in through the fan hole right here. And basically, just keep running this through the motor until you don't see any dirt coming out the, the bottom. Until it's clear, which it almost is actually.
And there we go. That's that's pretty much it for actually the cleaning process. As you can see, it's it's very nice and clean now. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of set it upside down just like this. And I'm going to let just the excess uh, motor cleaner kind of leak out of it before I put it back in. And so uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Alright guys, now that all of the excess motor cleaner and stuff has leaked out of your motor and you've dried it off nicely and everything, now it's time to lubricate it. So now you're going to want to grab your 3-in-1 oil and you're just going to want to put a drop right here and right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quickly. Now just one drop, just like that. And same thing right here. Put a drop in there. And then you're just going to want to take your output shaft and just kind of spin it, just kind of work that oil in there. And then you can just go ahead and wipe some of the excess off. Just like that. And there we go. Now, uh, I did take my uh, pinion gear off of the motor to, to do this. And so I'm going to go ahead and then put that back on right now. And alright, so here's the uh, pinion gear. And this is actually a 19 turn pinion gear. But anyways, now this just slips on. Uh, with the uh, the teeth facing the motor and this uh, output shaft is actually flat on one side and this little 1.5 millimeter allen screw right here actually lines up on that side and then you just take this take a little allen wrench and tighten it down Alright, just like that. And make sure that's on good and tight. And then we can proceed with putting the motor back into the RC and setting the gear. Alright, I now have the motor in the RC. Now it's not screwed down or anything, I just stuck it in there. Here's the motor. And then we just stick it in there. Just like that. And now comes the tricky part. Setting your gear mesh. So your gear mesh is how close the spur gear right here and your pinion gear right here are together. Now they need to be close enough together to touch, obviously. And if they're not close enough to touch, you'll strip out your spur gear. And if they're too tight, it'll cause binding. And it'll be really hard to turn and your RC will lose a lot of power and it's just really not good for the motor. So in order to do that, uh, the way I do it is I take a piece of paper, like a sticky note like this one right here, and what I do is I stick it in between the spur and the pinion gear, and if it's if it makes a crease in the paper but doesn't actually rip it, that's how you know that you have a good uh, gear mesh set. Alright, now I just like to take this screw right here, And stick it in and then screw it down and when I have that screwed down I then you can still adjust the motor and how close it is to, to the spur gear and that's when you set your gear mesh so let me go ahead and tighten the screw down and then I'll turn you guys back on alright I have now put this bottom screw in right here and I'm ready to set the gear mesh so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take post-it note right here or just a regular piece of paper works I'm just going to rip a small chunk off and I'm just going to stick it right here and feed it in between the spur gear and the pinion gear and then I'm just going to push the two together. Now, that right there should be your ideal gear mesh. 
with a piece of paper in between them, these two pushed together, you can then take your other screw that holds the motor in and screw it in. So actually this might be a little bit hard on camera, so I'm going to shut you guys off real quick. Alright guys, I have now put in this top screw right here and tighten it down and I've also tightened down this one. Uh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. When you put this screw in first, just leave it a little bit loose. Don't tighten it down all the way. That way you can actually move this uh, pinion gear on the motor uh, closer to the spur gear when you put your piece of paper in there. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys up close what this should look like. Now see how there's a little bit of movement there? in between the pinion and spur gear, that's what you want. You don't want it to be too tight to where it doesn't move. You also don't want you also don't want it to be too loose to where it just barely even makes contact. You want it just a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room, just like that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that these screws right here are all tightened up. Sorry about that. Back you guys out here. Just make sure these screws here are tight. Alright guys, now we're on to the final step of this process. I have the motor in, it's tight, the gear mesh is set appropriately, and now we just have to put this cover that goes over the spur and pinion gear back on, and then reassemble the wheel and connect the wires back up, and we're done. And so this, uh, this little cover, I just, I just cleaned this out and cleaned out the slipper clutch right here, and did that, but this is just held on with three 1.5 millimeter uh, Allen screws, and it just fit, sits on here just like that. And I have the screws right here labeled. So let me go ahead and put these in real quick. And this last uh, Allen screw down here is where uh, taking off the tire makes it a lot easier because it's kind of hard to get your hand in here. Where the screw is like right, right about there. Alright, and there we go. Alright, and now that that's done, we can reconnect these wires. And as you can see, for some reason, this connector right here got melted. And I don't know how this happened, uh, but it still works, but I'm going to get a replacement uh, connector for this soon. But anyways, we just connect these back up. Just like that. And then the final process is to put the wheel back on. So this just let me back you guys out. So this just slips on here just like like that. And then this little piece goes right here. And you have this hex nut right here. And then we're going to use the tool that came with this to just tighten this up. And voila! There you go. That is how to clean the motor, uh, your brush motor on your RC, as well as how to set your gear mesh. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for my next video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.